Hey everybody, this is Jeremy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how food's supposed to be digested by our bodies and what can potentially go wrong. Okay, so this is a really important topic because if you don't know what's supposed to happen to your food or what might go wrong when it goes into your body, then you don't have any way of actually judging whether or not that's a good food for you to eat, whether it's a paleo food, or whether it's an unhealthy food for you to eat and you shouldn't eat it. So let's start with what's supposed to happen. When you eat food, the first thing that happens is in your mouth, you have saliva. It starts breaking down the food just a very small amount. In your stomach, you have some acids. They also start breaking down the food just a very small amount. And then when the food gets to your intestines, that's where most of the digestion happens. And what that means is that you've got enzymes, you've got bile salts, you've got other acids. All of these things start breaking down your food into very small microscopic bits. Little pieces of the food that are essentially like two or three amino acids, two or three bits of fat. And the reason that's so important is because if your body doesn't do that, then your body can't properly absorb those foods. And if you can't properly absorb the foods, then you can't properly use them. You won't get the vitamins from them, the, the minerals, the other nutrients like the fats, the proteins that you need to build your body and to build your, your muscles, your tissue, and everything else. So once your body has broken down your food into tiny little bits, mostly in your small intestines, it then gets absorbed through your intestines where it goes into your bloodstream and essentially gets transported around your body. Some of it stays in your blood, some of it gets transported to your fat cells, some of it gets transported to your brain, to your liver, to other parts of your body, to your muscle, and it gets used in, either used then in a variety of ways or stored so that you can use it later. Okay, so that is the most rudimentary and basic understanding of what's supposed to happen to food, at least in your digestive system. So I wanna talk about the two biggest things that can go wrong when it goes into your digestive tract. The first thing is that it doesn't get digested at all and doesn't get absorbed. Well, why is that a bad thing, you say? Well, if you're not digesting your food, it's practically like you're not eating it. It just gets pooped out. And that's a bad thing because if you're not absorbing it, then you're not absorbing anything in that food, like the vitamins, like the minerals, like the proteins, the fats, or anything else in it, which means not only you're probably going to be pretty hungry, but you're going to have vitamin and mineral deficiencies, which lead to a whole host of diseases and problems that you really, really don't want to deal with. So that's the big problem. And most people don't have that big of a problem not digesting it. That is, you know, they're not, not absorbing anything at all. But a lot of people do have some type of malabsorption where you're not absorbing enough of your food or not absorbing the right parts. Now, the second big thing that can go wrong, and this is one that seems counterintuitive, especially after I told you the first problem, but the second big thing is that you might not break it down properly, but it might actually get absorbed anyway. Well, I see you asking me, Jeremy, why is that a problem? Well, the reason it's a problem is because if you don't break it down into those very tiny little microscopic bits, and yet your body absorbs it anyway, then your body's gonna look at that piece of unbroken down food and say, hey, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like what normally gets absorbed into my bloodstream, so I'm going to attack it. My immune system's going to build some white blood cells and attack that piece of food. And once that happens, you've got a whole host of other problems. You're gonna start developing allergies because that's essentially how allergies develop in a lot of cases is that your body starts attacking things that would otherwise be normal for it to eat. You might develop autoimmune problems down the road, things like Crohn's and Hashimoto's, but even now, certain inflammatory issues, arthritis and acne are actually related to these types of reactions. So there are a whole host of issues if your food doesn't get broken down properly, but gets absorbed anyway. Okay, so that's it for today. We talked about how food is supposed to go through your body, that is supposed to get digested a little in your mouth or stomach, mostly your intestines, and then absorbed into your bloodstream. And more importantly, we talked about two big things that can go wrong. That is, your food can not get digested at all and not absorbed, or it can get absorbed into your bloodstream, but without being properly broken down. Now, I didn't give you any big tips for today, and that's because we're gonna talk about this in future videos, why these things can happen with certain foods and how you can prevent them. However, if you've got any questions in the meantime, or you've got any tips of your own or any thoughts, please leave them in the comments below as always. Click the like button below if you liked the video, and right here, as always, there is a click to subscribe button. So please click that button, subscribe. We'll tell you about all of our future science reviews, videos, and everything else.